Okay, it has been a while since I have done a live and my goal in this live is to stay as calm as possible regarding what I just covered on my show and to make sure that we platform this because it is just so obvious that there is a pedophile ring in Hollywood and it is obvious in the fact that anybody who speaks out about it gets kicked out of Hollywood and it is about to become even more obvious because we now have a blatant act of pedophilia that has taken place and you're going to see that a lot of celebrities who like to use their platforms to condemn everything that sounds like hate speech, right, are going to be quiet. So let me give you an update in case you are not aware of what has happened with Balenciaga. Now, you may know Balenciaga. It's a huge brand. Kim Kardashian is one of the faces of it. In fact, if you go to her profile right now, she has dripped herself in their new campaign. Balenciaga and Adidas are teaming up. They want nothing to do with Ye. Neither does she. Perfect brands for all of them to unite and to sell some products. Who cares? Whatever. Ye has in the past talked about the fact that he thinks that his children are being sexualized in Hollywood. He thinks that it's wrong that his nine-year-old daughter is allowed to be on TikTok and have millions of followers, knowing that there's perverts on the internet. Whatever. We know that everyone calls him crazy for saying that, talking about the overt sexualization that is taking place and the child exploitation that is taking place in Hollywood. They keep telling you that he is crazy, okay? Kim has basically allowed this narrative to go on. She has alleged that he has bipolar disorder, doesn't know what he's talking about, he's lying, that it's fine for her daughter to be on Instagram. We also know that Kim K herself has engaged in pornography to get herself, to buy herself access into Hollywood. Her and her mother colluded and had made a sex tape. So we know that she is compromised as it is. But whatever, the relationship fell apart, who cares? The whole world wants to cancel Ye, who cares? I decided I want to stand by him as a friend because I know that he is talking about important things like child exploitation in Hollywood, and we do need to have a conversation about that. So here's what happened with Balenciaga. Balenciaga recently released their ad for their next campaign, okay? In the ad, they have very young children. You can go to their website and they probably have already taken it down. I will share that stuff on my platform as much as I can during my stories. They have very young children that are looking up with innocent eyes and they're holding teddy bears, Balenciaga teddy bears that are draped in BDSM. The teddy bears are wearing BDSM leather products, okay? And the kids are holding them looking very innocent, obviously trying to almost look like children that are in captivity. It's very weird, it's very bizarre, but you might be thinking, oh, it's what's wrong is the people that are even thinking that. Who cares if a child is holding a bear and the bear is doing a little BDSM? Wait for this, okay? Then they shot another photo from the campaign and the same exact campaign and there is a Balenciaga purse and under the purse, there's a lot of papers. When you zoom in to the papers, what you will see is it is a Supreme Court decision. The Supreme Court decision was Ashcroft versus the Freedom of Speech Coalition, the Freedom Coalition for Speech, right? That was a decision that the Supreme Court struck down certain aspects of child, virtual child pornography, okay? So essentially, they are putting these papers that was the Supreme Court decision to struck to strike down certain laws pertaining to virtual child pornography under the purse. So there is no confusion where they stand. They are happy that the Supreme Court decided to get rid of virtual child pornography laws, which now allows them to have these children that are holding these bears that are in BDSM poses. I am so disgusted. I can't even, I, I, I am angry. I want to be shrieking. Like I said, I'm trying to stay calm in this. We have been talking about what is so obviously happening, which is child grooming in our society. People that are talking about children's genitals, trying to pretend that it's love to get them to change their genders. Obviously what I have said for years, it's going to usher in pedophilia. So let me let me split. Let me split. Let me split. You know what Candace on us? I don't agree with like a whole lot of stuff that she's saying, but with this topic she's talking about and what we talked about last week about Balenciaga, she is one hundred percent facts, yo. I gotta give her props and, and all this type of stuff. Where are all these celebrities? All right, I, I said this last week. Where are all these celebrities that are about Balenciaga, yo? Where I see some are coming out, but there's not enough coming out. Mm -hmm. Celebrities, you need to come out and and really, really speak on Balenciaga, and really, to me, you gotta really gotta cut ties, or you know, put pressure on Balenciaga because what what Balenciaga did last week was 
not right. Very, very wrong. Especially with putting like this this child stuff on there. It's very, very wrong. But uh, you know what? You know what? Kansas don't see me saying a lot of stuff that that be see speak a lot of facts. I'm like, oh, okay. It's, it's like she's turning the tide for me or something like that. Because some stuff I didn't disagree, but she's speaking a lot of facts. So, I'm, so Candace, I'm gonna give you some props because you be now you've been. You've been popping my ears up a little bit now. It's like, okay, you, you're starting to make some some sense to me. But then again, um, Kim Kardashian, I know you, you say you, uh, you you put out a little tweet or something like that. But for me, I, I don't think that wasn't enough. You should have put you should have put pressure on them because for Kim, you you definitely have the power. You the billionaire, you have the power. All these all these fashion um, clothing lines, you know, they they come to you. They come to you, Kim, and for you not to really push out there for Balenciaga, and to me, you should have cut ties, especially what it did with your um to, to your husband and all these co- all these um other um pe- um companies do it with your husband. You should, Kim, you should have cut ties with them. You know, you just you just you just gave him a little tweet and that's it. But you should, to me, you should go beyond that. And I don't know why you did that. And all these other celebrities need to speak up as well. To bless you gotta cut ties with them, you know. Like I said, hurt their pockets. Hurt their pockets. But then again, are these studies gonna come out? I don't think so, because they, they should have come out by now. They gotta they gotta shh. Or maybe they paid them on the side of giving them a hush money, all that type of stuff, something like that, all that type of stuff. So they can better so in the future, you know, let's y'all can, can continue, you know, promote some of these celebrities and, and, and have people body buy, buy all these type of um, clothing line for Balenciaga. But uh, Candace, I give you major, major, major props on what you're saying. You, you speak 100% facts, and let's keep pushing. Like for us, LP, let's keep pushing on Balenciaga because what the Balenciaga did is very, very wrong. That's my take. Um, I always say this: um, when you get corporate money, you're bought by them, so you're their, you're their pet. We all know that a lot of these people who are under corporate money are going to abide by what the corporate people say. So regardless if morals is involved, and let's be honest, Kim Kardashian morals have been questioned years prior before this. You know what I mean? And all for the love of fame and money and recognition, your 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 um your morals will be questioned. That's why I kind of find it ironic that she herself was trying to get back the sex tape that Ray J had when it's already out on the internet. This here, you supporting a brand that clearly had some disturbing things on it, and you still aligning yourself with the brand just says that where you stand and we as regular people stand. And I always tell people, these people do not represent us. They represent their group of people. They all live in Calabasas. They do calabasas i said we are real workers all that glitter not gold and that's my take on it and so views and this is why you should like share and subscribe to the channel and we want we want to know what you think in the comments do you think canon owners was right do you think celebrities should come more celebrities should come out and speak on this do you think kim kardashian should speak on this tomorrow or you just or you, just, or you think her tweet was okay and also, we want to say, Ronnie, he's still out for this week. And, and we, like I said, hopefully, Ronnie, you, you'll get better. And we, like I said, we see the week is going on. But that's being said, that's, but that being said, Chaos Culture Radio. Radio, we out. We out. Peace. Peace.